All right, guys, so you may be asking why we're walking today. Well, I thought it would be nice if we experienced life as normal civilians. Are you serious right now? I like the idea. Where are we going first? I'm not on board with this. I have to go see my children. You have no choice because I locked all of your bank accounts. Anyways, we're going to find a taxi so we can start our first job. Get on the sidewalk, Barack, before you get hit by a vehicle. They would never hit a president of the United States. Well, you aren't a president currently, and there is nothing stopping them from hitting you. Damn. How far do we need to walk? I'm getting tired. Plus, why can't everyone have a car? What's stopping them from getting one? You are really out of touch with this nation, Biden. I can't believe this is the person our people voted for in 2020. Well, I obviously did something better than you, Donald. I'm obviously the better choice. Only reason I didn't win is because of all the fake news going around. Hey, taxi, let me in. I need a ride to the bus depot as soon as possible, sir. Also, never stare at me like that ever again in your life unless you want to get shot. That's no way to talk to someone. The man was just looking directly into your soul. And that's the point. No need to be creepy. Just drive me to my destination, damn. Hey, Mr. Carlos, can you turn on the radio, please? Tonight, in an unprecedented turn of events, three presidents, Barack Obama, Joe Biden, and Donald Trump, have Did you tell the media about this? What the hell is going on? Spotlight. No, I didn't tell anyone. Cooper civilians. is a very mysterious person. This historic decision marks a shift in the dynamics of our nation's leadership. Can you stop his yapping? As we bid farewell I never knew to Cooper these influential was a figures, in Japanese, just we're left to ponder the impact their departure will have on the political landscape and the nation as a whole. Join us as we explore this unexpected chapter in American history. Am I the only one that has a feeling that something is up with that man? But anyways, can you hurry up, cab driver? I'm tired of listening to fake news in your cab. We are at a red light, John. Calm down, we will be there shortly. Stop rushing the man. Am I the only one who is enjoying not having everything the world can offer? I mean, when you are 80 years old and you don't give a shit about others, I guess I could feel the same. I'm actually starting to enjoy myself too. Having to stop at red lights and all of that is pretty amazing. You woke up to speak facts. So you mean to tell me that we are going to become bus drivers? I mean, I always remembered going on the bus to go to the dentist and hating the ride there. Yeah, but whenever you came back knowing you wouldn't need to go again for a while was always amazing. You never rode the bus, buddy. Your dad was incredibly rich. If you can't match the vibe, Donald, don't mention it. Bitch, even if my dad was rich, that doesn't stop me from riding the bus. Stop capping Donald and just grab the bus so we can start our route. No, because you guys are actually starting to piss me off. You aren't Miles Morales. You aren't going to do your own thing. Who the hell is Miles Morales? Just be quiet, Biden. What do you know about riding the bus, you youngling? Never speak to me like that ever again before I slap you. Sorry to say this, but is that dude on some Zaza or something? Just be quiet, Joe. You are getting annoying. For real, just shut your mouth already. I found out that the reason they have these crazy patterns on the bus seat is because there is so much dirt on these seats. Nasty. Well, how about you clean them up instead of just sitting there? We are almost to the first stop. Tonight, I'm joined All right, by I'm Jessica actually getting tired of this. Why does everyone have Obama, CNN automatically Trump enabled in their vehicles? Can we get Jessica, some more Fox News? I don't know. Even ABC hey, Anderson, News would be better like than the this crap. a taste of normal life. Obama's probably Netflix and chilling. Biden's out there swiping on apps. And Trump, well, who knows what he's up to? Interesting perspective. How do so you think much traffic, we need to work on getting people on their oh, feet, getting sure. exercise. But I mean, we don't have an excuse know, because we have oil machines that can release more carbon emissions than a person so can in their lifetime. As they embrace civilian life. Oh, honey, keep it real. Drop the drama. And if Trump starts a skincare line, I hope it's fake news face cream or something. Hey, never talk to me like that again in your damn life. You hear me, you shithead? How did you get into this line? I hope you know this is highly illegal. I want you to stop all the fake news and vote Donald John Trump because I will be returning for, you, for the 2024 you presidential election race. Talk. Vote for me now. As we navigate this uncharted territory, thanks for bringing your flair to the conversation. No, thank you. The day I see you is the day I stop you Democrats. You want to explain why the heck did you hit me with the bus? I hope you know it hasn't been that long since I've been shot in the foot. You want to tell me why, instead of cleaning the seats and wiping the floors, you guys decided to leave the bus? How about this for a change? Instead of you leading these adventures, when is it my turn to lead one? I could accept Obama, but just like Bush, you piss me off too much, Joe Biden. Also, why did you do that stunt on CNN, talking about some vote for me for 2024 when you know damn well you are going to be in federal prison by then, you thug? Hey, man, you almost forgot your wallet. If you don't get your ass in this car in 10 seconds before I leave you. What do you mean? I thought this was the stop home. Man, I hope you understand if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be running in 2024. We can't have someone like you leading this country, you idiot. Says the guy who forgot we are still on shift. Hey, hurry up before we leave you. Why are you walking slow? I am not a nice person. You can pay for your ticket before the next stop since you guys want to make us late.
Pretty sure that is being nice because you are giving them a chance to ride the bus. The next station is literally right up here. So either they were lazy to walk or I don't know what's up with them. Hey, do you have your money or not, you idiots? My man's was asking a question. Do you have the money or not? We will have to use lethal force if you exit this bus. Hey, you better come back and pay. Before we beat you up so hard, you can't get back up. We on him, Donald? We're off the set, my brother. We are on him now. Why does bro have a full crowbar? My jaw is as strong as steel. Nice try, buddy. Now it's over. And who do you think you are hitting exactly? Please learn how to actually fight. You need us to jump in? No, I can deal with this my damn self. Crazy how I have two big dudes attacking me at once and they can't even touch me. I don't have an infinite barrier around me, so why are you guys so scared? Just hit me. Well, when they see a thug like you consolidating with Barack Obama, I mean, who wouldn't be scared seeing a president come out and fight without Secret Service? Hold on, what the hell are you doing? If they are trying to disrupt public service, that means we need to impound their vehicle. Hold on, why is the Secret Service not following us around anymore ever since we got together? Well, there was this one Secret Service lady, and I liked her more than my own wife, I'm being honest. So she was like my girlfriend for about two years. And then the government found out, shunned me, and then I went on this whole revolt, but we don't talk about that. So now they are scared to follow us because they might die. And that is true because I'm getting tired of all these civilians thinking they are above everyone else. This is the problem with humanity. People are too egotistical and full of themselves. Are you okay, Donald? If you need help, we can just call for some, or we can just call this entire adventure off and call it a night if you want. We all know how this is going to go now. You need to calm down, Donald, think back to your roots and rethink your decisions before you do something you regret. Think of that man, Cooper. He literally trapped us in another timeline. What did you say? Oh, my bad. I meant think of the police force. They shoot anyone on sight. Even though the police force is corrupt, you can't lose to temptation. Just for that, it's over for these guys. Get in the car, you damn hooligans. Holy shit. Hold on. Let me put something that you will like. Tucker Carlson here tonight. We're taking a closer look at the Biden administration's latest moves. Do you really think this twist. will help? Tucker is a real one, but still it doesn't fix all these Obama, issues Biden, Biden caused. Trump to transition into civilian life. Critics argue that President Biden's policies are driving a wedge into the fabric of the nation. Why the hell is he blaming me? What did I do? My policies literally saved millions of lives. adding another layer to the conversation. Join me as we dissect the impact of both policy and personal choices on the country. Exploring Get out of my way now. For the oh, so when Trump literally gives out billions landscape. worth of stimulus, he isn't the bad guy. Yeah, so you can't really be mad at him for that. Everyone enjoyed those checks. I understand you're rich, but like I said before, I took uh, my wife to eat. I'm not listening to your story. I was asleep, damn it. Why do we have cops on us now? The hell did you do, Donald John Trump? You better put those Twitter fingers to use. It's X, not Twitter. That Musk guy better stop playing with me before I shut his entire company down anyways. We actually need a game plan today, which is crazy. The game plan is to try to destroy as many things on the road as possible because these people's lifestyle is actually insane. And then we need to get as far away from the city as possible. Hey, dispatcher, I need your help is what I said, the best way to get the cops off my tail. I mean, it is the least practical as I can just call in the presidential vehicle for you, but I doubt you want that. Also, when am I going to get paid? It's already been a month. Where is my $30,000, man? When did I ever say I was going to give you $1,000 a day? Pretty sure it was whenever you assassinated Captain America, which I still have evidence on. If you don't pay me, I will release it to the authorities. I have no idea what you are talking about. And your dumbass never agreed to any pay, so I have no obligation to pay you, but I'll send you like $20 after I'm done with this. I'm sorry, sir. Please explain how the hell am I supposed to live off of $20? Are you high or something? Please explain it to me because it makes no sense. I work my I wouldn't go down there, you idiot, Donald. The shenanigans you guys do every day and I get no pay. First off, it's your fault for not agreeing to anything. Plus, didn't you see Biden's wife? You are well off, man, so I have no idea why you are asking me for money. Just ask her. He did what? He tried to help cover up Hunter Biden for you. I have no idea what you're talking about. My son did absolutely nothing. Yeah, what did Hunter Biden do? But I do have a question, Joe. Why did your son ask the judge to dismiss the gun charges in Delaware or whatever? You will understand soon enough, it's fake news. People are spreading fake news in this country. And I will be the president in 2024 to make that change. I hope you know you can do that right now. This afternoon, an unimaginable scene unfolds as former presidents Obama, Biden, and Trump embark on a chaotic joyride in a bus, leaving a trail of mayhem. The streets resemble a high-speed chase scene from an action movie with hundreds of police cars in hot pursuit. It 
appears that the taste of civilian life has taken an unexpected toll on these leaders, who, after stepping away from the political spotlight, seem oh. to the city of the Learn how to drive, you idiot. Be quiet. I've been waiting to shoot this gun all day, and now I won't miss a shot because of that. Ah! Ah! My back, damn it. Now you know how it feels to have true back pain at an old age. People aren't joking when they say they can't bend down, young man. Well, yeah, I completely understand. Now I can barely keep myself up straight. I just feel like falling on the floor. We need to steal one of those police helicopters. With my skill, we should be able to get low. I don't know if I can fully trust you to help us escape. Remember when we were poor and I shot the tire to the Rolls Royce because you pissed me off so much back there. Just forget it. Hey, dispatcher, can you get an island for three without any animals, especially cows on it? Maybe have some girls around for Barack, a chef, and I need this all done within about one hour. Please send me the coordinates. I can definitely do that for you, but you are going to have to send me some money to export the animals off the island since I haven't been paid yet. Also, I have exported of information to Cooper if you want me to withdraw it. Send me $30,000 right now. Hey guys, get in the plane. All right, dispatcher. There is no way you are trying to blackmail a president of the United States of America. How about this? If you do not keep your mouth shut, I will expose all the corrupt things you have done to this nation. And trust me, it's bad. How about sending a missile Damn. to a neighborhood? To be honest, sir, forget about it. I will have your island ready. I didn't know you stood on business, Trump. I always stand on business. Well, technically, you don't always. Hey, man, what are you doing? You may want to pull up or slow down, man. Uh... Are you guys awake? Are you guys good? Oh, no, my back. I think I broke my back, guys. Someone help me. We are going down the mountain. Uh, my back.